Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's Paul here. Uh, okay, so special um, series of videos now. Um, I've been asked by uh, my friends over at Anik Moore and Eglish Regeneration Scheme to do some specific uh, filming for for families over over in Northern Ireland in Portadown in the Portadown area. Um, so, uh, welcome everybody to. Um, obviously to day one uh, of June dedicated to those guys and hopefully they're gonna send me some videos or some um, images of, of the kind of work that they're, they're doing. Um, so um, I'm gonna start off with um, a bit of street art really. So uh, this page here in the next few days, I'm gonna start adding some street art style drawings. So a dead easy one to start off with. We're going to just do a street art panda. Um, you can use felt tips for this, um, but I'm starting with um, just a, a Derwent sketching pencil, uh, a Stabilo fine liner, uh, just to go around the outside edges, but you could, as I say, use a, a black um, felt tip uh, for this one. It'd look really cool like that. Uh, then I'm going to just do a bit of crumble like the concrete crumbling on, on the wall with like a, a light, really light brown um, and a little bit of grey. I've got silvery grey here. These are uh, Faber-Castell pencil cranes. These are the ones I use in all my videos. Uh, and then I've simply got a black because um, I haven't got a, a black um, felt tip. So I'd probably use a black felt tip when I use the black um, pencil crane. Okay, so this is just ahead of the panda. All right, so I'm going to start off with the pencil drawing and then I'm going to go over it afterwards okay so if you want to pause the video um, and work alongside me that would be great um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of hair to start off with um, so you want two spikes like this okay um, and then you need a line here and then you need a line that's not quite straight just slightly ang angled um, and then we're going to go down to about there okay and then on the other side we're going to go down to about here then we're going to go straight line down okay um, now this is going to form the panda's chin okay so we just all we've got to do then is to line these two up there we are so that's his face all right um so we want a little triangular nose for this one this is like a graffiti style street art lots of people do pandas uh, on walls around the world so i thought i'd try and do it um in this video for you okay so Hope everybody's well over in Northern Ireland anyway. You guys are safe and happy in lockdown. I know uh, Andrea and the team there have got lots of uh, things going on to keep you guys busy and happy. Um, it's great to be involved with you as well. Really pleased that Andrea's got in contact initially. Um, and if you watch any of my other videos, I've got 90 that I've, I've done during lockdown, 90 on my YouTube channel. Um, that you're very welcome to watch and join in with and make comments on. If anybody's interested in uh, asking me to do certain um, certain ones, then just fire away, honestly, at the, in, the, in the comments section. Um, I'll write my email address below as well so you can get into contact or send me um, pictures of what you've done. Um, if that's okay, I'll write my email address down. I'll actually write it down here now. So um, it's simply... Uh, Paul Benbow B E N B O W art at gmail dot com. Okay, and I'll leave that on there for a, for a few few days. Okay, so this is day one. Um, so um, this is not looking much like a panda quite yet, but it will do in a little while. Okay. Um, back to these spikes here so we can just draw some spikes in there like hair and then we want the ears in okay now you want these quite angular okay um, and 
we go up here and across and down. All right. Um, so that that's all we're doing with the pencil. Now I'm just going to go to um, the fine liner. You guys, if you want to use felt tip, if you've got a felt tip, a black one, uh, this will look most effective in black. Okay. As I say, I'm going to use a pencil crayon in a little while. Okay. Um, and you can use the felt tip then if you wanted to. Okay, so uh, seeing this on a, uh, a couple of streets around Europe, I think there's one of these in, uh, I think it's the same artist that's doing them, uh, Barcelona, another one in uh, in Reykjavik in Iceland that I've seen myself on the side of a, a shop, uh, or the wall of a shop actually, because um, I love my street art. So. Just try and do it, a lot of these ones in pencil crayon because obviously a lot of us don't have spray cans um, and I wouldn't suggest going out and finding a wall and start graffitiing really. Um, so we can try and do these kinds of things in it in a sketchbook. I'm using a sketchbook. This is a, an Art Gecko sketchbook from uh, simply from Amazon. Uh, really quite cheap. My, I bought my kids some of these really good. Um, so I'm going to go in this section here, leave the, the white in the middle. Um, I'm going to go over it again. If you've got felt tip, this is probably better in felt tip. Um, but I'm doing the fine line here. Okay. And don't worry if you go over the edges too much. Don't worry about that. That's what they would do in the, in the graffiti style with the spray cans anyway. Got lots of drip effects with the spray cans. So don't worry too much if you go over the line. Okay, just add to, add to how authentic it looks, really. Okay, so we've got we've got the panda there. Okay, now just want you to do two lines, one down here, and then a longer one down there. Okay, um, and we're going to put a couple of lines like this across the middle. Now this is where you can start having a little bit of fun um, with if you've got a felt tip great don't worry about spoiling things you won't spoil it okay um, and even if you do make a mess that's the idea of graffiti really um, so I'm, I'm using um, a black uh, pencil crayon you guys you can use um, fine line if you wanted to um, so this is the kind of thing I'm going to do now so you want to show some lines like this. Okay, squiggles like that. Okay. Um, we're going to go really quite thick underneath, but you need to be missing some out. Okay. And it's almost like a triangle here, a little bit darker in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna get my fine liner again in a minute. Okay, um, and this is good fun doing this because you can kind of create a really good effect just by going over things with this kind of pen and you don't have to be accurate at all, you can make your own shapes no problem. Okay, now if I use a fine liner now uh, and I'm just going to do some lines like this. Okay. Um, this is the kind of thing that graffiti artists sometimes do. They go back over their own work or sometimes add squiggles to other people's work as well. Okay. Um, so don't worry if you think you're making a mess. It kind of adds to it. Okay. Um, now I just want a little bit thicker across the top of his head here. So I'm going to go over this line. Over these lines so it looks like graffiti. Okay. There we are. And I'm going to go over this line as well. And this bottom edge, I'm going to go over. Okay. So we're now looking like, more like a street street art panda. Okay. Now I'm just going to... I'm just going to colour in the back of this a little bit. Okay, so it looks like the wall is broken. And we're going to put a little bit of silver 
over the top in a minute, okay? And I'll show you why it just do it deadens the colour a little bit. So this is um, just a, a creamy colour, on a light brown colour. Now I've got a silvery grey, just going over the top slightly, okay? Over the top of there, just not pressing on too hard. And we'll just build on this colour in the next few tutorials, okay? Uh, I think I'm going to do a, a piece of fruit, like a street art fruit tomorrow, okay? Maybe an apple, because I know you guys over in uh, Anatmore and, and Eglish area, I know you've you've got orchards and all sorts around your 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 community, your, your rural community. So, um, what you could do is just start bringing in a little bit of grey like this. Okay, if you've got some grey, definitely use the grey if you've got it. Okay, now we just want a couple of drips, so I'm going to go a larger dot. Um, like this, okay. Um, a lot of graffiti artists will do this now. They'll They'll start writing things, so I'm just going to put a G, O, and a V. All right, it's kind of a, um, a comment to the government, really, um, for graffiti artists. Some that that gov there just just kind of tells a political story sometimes. Okay, um, so um, got a little bit of grey on here. Okay, just a little bit of grey. A little bit of grey through his nose area, okay, just the lines, okay. Um, you, what you want to start making it look like is it's a wall, um, and it's not clean, okay, it's like an, a dirty, broken down wall, so um, that's what we're trying to achieve here, all right. Um, so a little bit of grey underneath this, all right. Um, I'm going to bring a little bit of grey through here as well. Carrying with the grey through this section. Okay. Now, if you have got felt tips, um, if you've got like a, a bright, like a blue or something like that, uh, a lot of uh, street artists they will sign either sign the name. Sometimes they do things like X's. So if you've got felt tip, you could do like a thick X through it like this. Okay. Um, sometimes they put things like question marks um, or their, their kind of tags of their name. Um, so you might want to do something like that. Um, my initials are P and B, so you could put your initials in there when you're finished. Um, and that's it really. Just rub out um, a little bit of pencil where I've leaned on there. And um, that's the first, um, that's day one of, of June's videos for uh, Anak Moore and, and Eglish. Hope you guys are safe and, and well out there anyway. And um, you continue to watch my videos. If you want to subscribe, that's great. You won't miss any content then. Um, send me your uh, images of the, um, the tutorials that you do alongside me. If you can or any artwork, send it to paulbemboart at gmail.com. And I uh, hope to see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys. See you on day two.